Hello, welcome back to Moxo Essentials. In this video, we are going to talk about how to assign and run a Moxo test. Quick disclaimer, any patient information you are going to view in this video is all fictitious and does not represent any client. Once you log into your account, you'll get to the dashboard or landing page of your Moxo account. You can take most actions and view the most relevant information from this page. There are two ways to assign a new test. The first way is directly from your dashboard page by clicking plus test button next to your patient's name. The second way to add a new test is from your client's page. If this is an existing client, click the client number on the left. If this is a new client, click plus client in order to create one. Once you fill out the client's information and click save, that client will be saved into your account and you can then assign them a test. In order to add a test, you need to click on plus test. When you click on that button, a window will open up on the bottom where you can confirm the client's information, choose if this will be a remote test or an in-clinic test, and indicate if the client will be under the influence of any medication or intervention during the test, and finally make sure to click save. This is true for both new and existing clients. When it comes to running a test, this can also be done from both your dashboard and your client's page. If the button says test, it means it's an in-clinic test. If the button says invite, it means this is a remote test. Once you click on invite, a green window pops up at the top right corner of the screen, indicating that an email with instructions and a link to start the test was sent to your client. Once you or your remote client begin the test, a pop-up will appear announcing that a short check of your computer and speakers will commence once you click proceed. This is done to ensure a smooth Moxo test. Thanks for tuning in to another Moxo Essentials training video. In this video, we covered how to add a new test, run an existing in-clinic test, and how to send a remote test to a client. See you next time.